And one of the most important things that will help you with neuropathy and help overcome neuropathy is In today's video, we're talking about the effects from neuropathy from chemo and what you can do about it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Marina Blackford. I am a two-time breast cancer survivor and I have a passion for sharing positivity and life hacks. So welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do. You're gonna hit that notification somewhere down below and you'll be subscribed to my weekly videos. I post videos about my life, which is that I have been a cancer fighter and I am a survivor and I'm paying for tips for you all. I do weekly videos and I post live chats and there's just more coming. I'm just so excited. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss it. All right. In today's video, we're talking about neuropathy. So I have a lot of chemo experience and here is what I have learned about neuropathy. Neuropathy is the feeling of numbness or tingling or pain, um, kind of like that uh, pins and needles feeling, usually in your hands and feet. That's called peripheral neuropathy and that's the most common that could happen with chemo. I wanna talk about what you can do to prevent neuropathy, all right? Number one, you want to ice your hands and feet during chemo. I've said this many times on my channel, but not everybody knows about it. I did not know about it the first time, but my oncologist told me the second time I had cancer to do this. So I found some ice gloves and socks on Amazon, and I wore them during chemo. I'm laughing because my dog is eating while I'm filming. I'm very excited to share with you my link to my Amazon storefront that now makes it easy to find all the products that I recommend helping you with your cancer journey. I have used them personally, I've researched them, I have looked at all the reviews and I put together everything that can help you. So I'm gonna put that link right on the screen here. I'm gonna put it in the description box down below. And if you miss it, you know, comment or find me on Instagram at Marina Blackford but I want you to go to my Amazon storefront and you can find all these products I talk about. So the ice gloves were very effective. They're so cold. I took them to chemo in a cooler and I brought extra ice packs for the socks because those will thaw out quicker because your feet are warmer and those ice packs are smaller. So you'll need to change them halfway through your chemo. But I have linked that down below. So you wanna ice immediately get your hands on those gloves and then into those gloves once you start your chemo infusion and wear it most of the time. I say most of the time, I mean, as long as you can tolerate icing. So you might need to do a little bit of on off, um, but it will help. I promise, it's the whole reason that cold cap helps people not lose their hair. Same theory, it's protecting those areas from being affected by the chemo. All right, so that leads to the second thing that'll help you prevent neuropathy, which is acupuncture. This is something I was able to do with chemo the first time because my cancer center had acupuncture there and it was available. I did not do it the second time because of COVID and they were not allowing any extra workers in. So if you are able to do acupuncture during chemo, look into it. See if your cancer center has it. Mention it to your cancer center. See if you can have somebody come in and do it for you during treatment or go to somewhere where you can have it done the day of chemo, go after. And I know you've already been in the chemo chair, but if you can go get acupuncture for 30 minutes to an hour after, it will help with neuropathy, it'll help with nausea, and it'll help with anxiety. All those things is proven to help with. Well, that leads me to the next step of what can help when neuropathy sets in. Number one, I would recommend doing physical therapy. Physical therapy was not personally recommended to me during this process. So this is another reason that you guys are here so I can give you these tips because I learned from trial and error. You have to be your own advocate during this process. Everybody is there to help you, but they don't know what you're feeling and they don't always know that you're getting help that's available. But physical therapists, there are some that specialize in uh, breast surgery reconstruction. You can find them in your area and they will help you with stretches and exercises to help release scar tissue and tightness from all the surgery and everything you've been through. Um, even just in the port area, if you haven't had surgery yet, but I would recommend physical therapy. They're gonna help you with circulation to your hands and feet by doing stretches and exercises. So seek physical therapy is one of my best tips. Number two is dry needling. This is something they can do at physical therapy. It's an extra um, thing they can do if your pain from neuropathy is pretty bad. So they did dry needling for me here. 
I will warn that it is not comfortable. Imagine you're having pain and they put a needle into the pain. It was so uncomfortable, like so, I, I almost passed out one time, it was so bad. It could possibly help. So if your physical therapists think it could help, you can try it if your neuropathy is that bad. I'm just warning you that that one is extremely uncomfortable, but it is an option. And the third, again, one of the most important things that will help you with neuropathy and help overcome neuropathy is this, time. Time that you cannot control just needs to happen for your body to heal. And I know that I needed to hear that and you need to hear that because we all need to realize in this process that sometimes we want things to heal and just be back to the way they were so quick. And it's just not realistic. Your body is made up of cells and, you know, and all this stuff that has to repair and regrow and bounce back after uh, it, something like chemo and everything you've been through. And that's not something that's gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen in a month, not in two months. For me, the magic number was six months that it took for my hands to finally stop hurting and getting that numbness feeling every morning. And it was six months like clockwork, like almost to the date, guys. I had stopped doing anything special for a couple months and was just living on a prayer. And I woke up one day and realized it no longer hurts. And that was the gift of time so just remember that during this process that you need to give yourself grace and time to heal and see what that new normal will be for you. So those are my best tips that I can pay forward to you guys. Um, I'm just so excited to have you here. Make sure you leave your comments down below, share this video with somebody that needs it. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys. Now my dog is done. What? <laughs>